What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel for another video, and this week we're taking a look at the entire product lineup from the Canadian brand Kanmoto Pomade. That was a little weird. It was like an infomercial intro. Intro-mercial? <laughs> All right, so Kanmoto Pomade, as I mentioned just a moment ago, they are a Canadian brand, and as of right now, they have four products, so we got a lot to look at today. We have their Clay Pomade, which is their high hold matte finish option, their Paste Pomade, which is a high hold natural finish product, their Cream Pomade, which is a medium hold natural finish, and their Original Water Based Pomade, which is a high hold medium shine product. So jumping straight into packaging, each one of these comes in these 3.5 ounce or 100 gram black aluminum tins, which is kind of your classic uh, barbershop pomade type of look. But the artwork on the label on the top, I fucking love it. They have this Griffin artwork on there, which just looks absolutely sickening. Obviously I've got it on this shirt that they also sent me. Um, I just, I really love the artwork. I think it looks super cool. And I like the, you know, kind of dark, color schemes. Now, as far as the pricing on these, everything on their website is priced in Canadian dollars. So it, uh, all the products come in at $27.50 Canadian, which is right around $21 US. And as far as the shipping goes, um, I believe it was $5 flat rate for inside Canada and $10 flat rate for anywhere international. But if you spend over $50 Canadian, it's free shipping anyway. And now the moment that, oh, gee, I almost just hit myself in the face with that. The moment that we've all been waiting for, it's time to talk about that scent. And it is the same on all four products and they list it as a cognac and Cuban scent. And boy, let me tell you something. Oh, I fucking deceased! Oh my god, this seriously? Oh, that fucks me up something good. I seriously, the scent is wonderful. It's warm. It definitely, you get that like tobacco with a little bit of vanilla and that cognac in there. It just smells amazing. Um, the only one that's slightly like the original water-based pomade one it's the same scent but it's lightest on this lightest lighter um it's the lightest on this one of the bunch i definitely can smell it uh more strongly from from the other three uh but regardless of that i once you get it into the hair you can smell it for a little while and then it just does kind of dissipate unless somebody's really like nosing in there and whatever you guys get up to in your free time um but yeah it's it's a wonderful scent. Now, as far as the ingredients, I'm not going to talk about everything, um, but I will have them down below for you. They are homebrew formulas, so they're pretty short list. But the main things that we can talk about here is that in each and every one of these products, they include both creatine and biotin, uh, which both of those are meant to really kind of stimulate um, good hair growth, thicker hair growth, and just they, they basically want these products to make your hair stronger and healthier over time as you use them. And in terms of each product, so um, the only one that is not water-based is the clay pomade. This one is beeswax-based and does also have some diatomaceous earth in there. Both the clay and the cream pomade have our favorite type of clay in there. And then we've got some other things we're used to seeing in these like, you know, lanolin wax and whatever. The uh, water-based one doesn't have any wax in it. It does have some glycerin and castor oil though. All right, so now I've got demo footage and endurance tests for each of these. So let's get right into the products. And first, of course, we'll take a brief look at the scoop and the breakdown on each one. So starting with their original water-based pomade, this scoops out and breaks down exactly like you would expect a water-based or otherwise known as a gel type pomade too. Um, it's thick, it feels like a thick gel type pomade and breaks down very smoothly with a little bit of stickiness and tackiness in there. The paste pomade has this uh, just white look to it and scooping it out, it is pretty thick and dense. It scoops out like I would expect a matte paste to scoop out. Although, well, it's not matte, it's natural, but you get the idea, it's a paste. So as you break it down, it is. it does take a little bit of work. It does definitely have some waxiness to it, uh, but as you heat it up in the hands, it does get quite smooth. The cream pomade looks similar to the paste one in the tin, but it is noticeably easier to scoop out and softer and creamier to break down. And the clay pomade, now this one, it has this kind of tan, like brown look to it. And this one is definitely a back of the thumbnail scooper. I mean, this bitch is hard and thick, thick, but 
let me tell you something. It definitely, like, it literally feels like clay. Like, if you were to dig some clay out of the earth and put it into a tin, that's what this feels like to me. It definitely, this one takes the most amount of work to break down and warm up in the hands. It's quite um, waxy and dry from the clays, so you definitely want to work that bitch in before you try to get it into the hair. So, speaking of getting into the hair, let's move into the demo footage. And so we'll start out with the clay pomade first. Their directions suggest applying this into dried hair, which is perfect, because that's what I like to do anyway. So we are starting out this demo with clean blow-dried hair, scooping out a small, probably about dime-sized amount, working that into the hands thoroughly until it's nice and warm. And then what I like to do here is just kind of start at the back of my head, brush the hair all forward to get the underside coated, and then go in into the front and do my kind of rake and shake thing to get it into the roots. Now this is meant to be a high hold matte finish product and it's definitely matte like straight out the gate. It, there is no set time in terms of the finish or the texture. And as far as the kind of uh, stickiness and hold, so it does have dryness from the clay as well as that diatomaceous earth. It has that nice like gritty feel, but not overly so. It's not like quicksand where it's gonna just fuck you and turn into like awful styrofoam head. Um, they've, they've balanced the formula well where it feels like a natural clay and it's dry, but it's not too dry. So here we are with the final look and I'd say, yeah, we're looking definitely very matte. We've got some decent volume. It's pretty lightweight in the hair, like straight off the bat. It really, like I said before, it has no set time really. It's just kind of instantly there and the way it's going to feel for the rest of the day. I will say this one for me is the kind of the driest of the bunch and has the most kind of tangly and sticky feeling when applying. Uh, but as the day goes on, it does get softer and the creatine and the biotin in there, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying those. It's just like, they sound weird in my brain. Anyway, um, they definitely do make my hair feel more conditioned and softer as the day goes on. So by the end of the day, we can take a look here. We're still looking pretty good in terms of volume and hold and texture and everything. Not much has changed, maybe a slight deflation as to be expected, um, but it is just much easier to get my fingers or a comb through. It stays, of course, pliable all day and uh, doesn't get greasy at all. Next, let's take a look at the paste pomade. So this is their high hold natural finish one. So this one, yeah, it's much easier to scoop and break down than the clay. And as a result, it is also, it's less dry. So it's a little bit easier into the application. Um, again, they recommend styling into dry hair. So win for me. And now it does have some stickiness and some grip and you can feel the hold setting in. So once again, I ended up with, for the final style, going in with probably two dime sized scoops or so. Um, and it does set up very quickly. It is once again, really lightweight in the hair. This one of course has a little bit of a finer texture and that natural finish, I like that they called it a natural finish. Like this is a natural finish to me. Like it's not matte, but it's not really low shine yet. It's right in the middle. There's just that very, very slight sheen that just makes it look like your hair is not dry. <laughs> And now here, taking a look at the end of the day on this one, we can see exactly what kind of shape we're in. So once again, yeah, I'd say the high hold is pretty good. Um, if you're doing a lot throughout the day, it will still move a little bit, uh, you know, especially in, once again, as the kind of creatine and biotin do their thing throughout the day, your hair does start to feel a little softer, a little more conditioned. So towards the end of the day, it is a little easier to move around a bit, but I'd say overall, we still, we haven't lost really much in the way of volume or hold here. All right, next we're going to talk about the cream pomade. This is their medium hold matte finish one. This is also the other one that has some kaolin in it. Third time's a charm. They recommend styling into dry hair. Bitch, let's go. And this one is certainly the smoothest and easiest to apply. It's just, I mean, it's buttery smooth. Uh, it's easy. There's, there, there's like no tug or pull or anything, uh, but you can feel it starting to build in a little grip and hold, especially if you, same deal, like two dime sized scoops um, was the right amount for me. And once again, the natural finish is nice. I think the cream pomade has just a touch more shine than the paste one, um, which I don't mind though. I still think it looks really nice and natural. It doesn't look too shiny for me. And this one, I think honestly might be my favorite of the lot because you guys know me. I love a good medium hold product. 
And that's exactly what this is. It's um, So it's got a nice texture, kind of in between a wax and a clay look, so not too coarse, not too fine either. And uh, yeah, as we can see later in the day, it definitely did you know start to break down, but I like that about this. And this is what I like about mediums in general, because some days I just like to have that kind of natural, flowy, loose, like carefree, whatever type of hairstyle. And this type of product is great for that. So it's it's definitely not meant to, you know, keep your hair styled exactly into a perfect pomp all day. Um, this is definitely more for those just natural, easygoing looks. And lastly, we've come to their original water-based pomade. Now, you guys know me, I'm not a fan, typically, of uh, pomades in general, like shiny pomades, or especially water-based ones, because typically, gel types or water-based pomades do the helmet head thing. You know, they typically, you style these into damp hair, which th this does uh, recommend as well. And when they dry, they give you a real shiny look and they do usually offer a very high hold. Um, but as a, as a sort of consequence of that, they make your hair harden and crusty and it's just not something that I enjoy. But this one, they do advertise this as one that stays pliable. It's not meant to really crust up and get real hard. So Phrasing. That, that sounded whatever. Take a look at the demo here. Now, I am not a damp hair styling kind of guy because my hair, when it's wet and or damp or in its natural state, it is quite curly. You guys don't see that much here on camera because I always blow it out straight first. So I didn't want to style this into damp hair and just leave it alone because whenever I do that, my hair just looks like absolute trash. But what I did do here was kind of um, some kind of middle ground. So I put the first scoop into damp hair. Well, it, that bitch is kind of wet. It's, it's more wet than damp, but whatever. So I put the first scoop into there, uh, combed it through, then I blow dried it. And I will say, so looking at the result here after that just initial blow dry with one scoop, the hold is there. Um, it, I wouldn't call this a medium shine. I would call it definitely on the lower end of the shine spectrum for me, but honestly, like, as a pre-styler, I could leave it like this, and it was a pretty solid, like, medium firm hold at that point. But for the sake of science, I did go in with an additional scoop into that blow-dried hair just to see, you know, how the shine level and things and, and the hold level would change. And it's interesting, so when it's first being applied, it is, you know, it's, it's a gel type, so it's kind of wet, so it made my hair start to feel kind of wet again, and I got a little worried, like, oh, shit, this bitch gonna curl up again, but it didn't. Um, it basically just increased the shine and maybe increased the hold a little bit. So um, this is definitely something that, like, if you don't touch it, it will stay in place pretty much all day unless you walk into a tornado or something. So, like, taking a look here at the end of the day, it basically looks exactly how it looked in the morning. Uh, this is, you know, all of these endurance tests have been eight hours plus later. Um, now again, I, I wouldn't really say this is a medium shine. For me, it's definitely more of a low shine, which is fine because, you know, I'm not a shiny finish person. I just, anytime I have anything more than a low shine, I just feel like my hair looks greasy as fuck and it just looks gross. So that was not the case here, which was good news for me. I'm sure it would be a bit shinier looking if I had just put it into damp hair and left it that way because that just naturally kind of increases the shine level of products. But yeah, so, um... Overall, this one, it definitely, as it sets, it, it doesn't, there, there's very little crustification. It, there's a little crust, um, which I expected. I fully expected that. But for the most part, it does stay pliable. You can restyle it if you need to, and you don't really need to, like, wet your comb or anything. You can just kind of move it around dry, uh, which was nice. There's definitely no flaking or anything like that. You know, this it, it's harder to get your hands through it, though, because once it sets and it dries up, then it's, it, I mean, it firms up pretty well, so it's not this, the, the, the most easy or most pliable product um, to restyle, but definitely more so than other gel type pomades that I've tried. And actually, so today is, is day two. I had used the original pomade yesterday, um, and this morning I woke up and I just hit my hair with a little bit of dry shampoo, and um, yeah, so like today we're looking pretty good, and once again, I think the biotin and creatine in these, like my hair feels pretty soft right now. It feels a little more conditioned, so it definitely doesn't feel, you know, dry or or uh, crunchy or anything, which is real nice. So yeah, overall thoughts on the Kanmoto lineup. I like these. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that they're like the greatest products that I've I've ever used, but but they all work the way that they're advertised. Mm. 
you know, I think the hold strengths and the um, finishes on all of them are accurate. Uh, the I was uh, I was assuming that I was gonna like the clay the best, and I I do enjoy it because it just it feels like really like this is like a natural clay like, but it is a little bit too dry for me because of my coarse wavy hair type, so it is a little bit cumbersome to style with. It is nicer later in the day. I think my favorite of the lot is probably the cream pomade, which is unusual for me. I usually am not a massive fan of, you know, things dubbed cream pomades, but this one I really quite like. Not to mention the scent, I, again, the scent is just fucking bonkers. Like, it's so good. And yeah, I really like the artwork and um, yeah, so they're definitely worth checking out. I always like, you know, kind of featuring brand, like new brands that I hadn't heard of before. And these guys reached out and asked to send me if they could send me their line. And uh, yeah, so thank you to Kanmoto for sending everything. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me these products to check out as well as this dope ass t-shirt. So thank you. And yeah, I guess that wraps things up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. We've got plenty, plenty more content coming up. We're starting off 2020 with a bang. We've got lots of reviews that have been kind of on my back burner that I've been meaning to get to for a while. We've got some more comment reading videos coming up. We got, we got all kinds of goodies. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.